What's going on YouTube? It's been forever since I've done a video. I think it's been like a year. Um, yeah, it's been a crazy year. So anyhow, um, doing a vehicle repair video. It's a little different than what I normally do. But uh, this hopefully will help people out because I've yet to see any video on my particular truck for this specific problem. I've seen it for other cars, but I'm going to go over how to fix this uh, particular vehicle. Okay, so <clears throat> if you have a 92 to 96, and it may even be good for the 80s too, I don't know, but uh, 87 to 91. But anyhow, if you got push button four wheel drive, it's got automatic locking hubs, there's no shifter on the floor, just four wheel drive button up here, uh, and it doesn't work randomly, um, yeah, this is going to help you out. So chances are your problem is going to be this guy. This is the uh, computer that tells your transfer case what to do. Uh, I think it's, there's a couple different names I've seen. I don't know the exact name. Basically, um, like your 4x4 transfer case module or computer, something along those lines. Uh, yeah, so... <clears throat> Whatever company that is made it. It also has uh, Motorcraft on there as well. This is a used one. These things are expensive. Okay, this was ninety bucks. I bought it on eBay from a guy uh, Northern Pennsylvania or girl or whoever they shipped it down to me. This is out of a I think a Bronco. Um, but anyhow, yeah, a new one of these like three fifty, crazy expensive. Because you guys that have these old trucks, you know the parts on them for pretty cheap most of the time. Uh, but not this. This is expensive. So I ended up buying a used one because I'm not dropping 350 on one of these things right now. So hopefully this thing lasts a while. If not, I guess I'll be dropping 350. Anyhow, so what's going to happen is you'll turn your key on, your truck's running, whatever, like you would normally do. Normally, when you push your 4x4 button, the light will flash a couple times. And then you will hear a clicking sound under your glove box or in behind the glove box. Normally. Uh, the other day we had an ice storm. I went to get out of my driveway, hit my four wheel drive. Nothing happened. The light didn't flash. There was no clicking under the dashboard. Nothing happened at all. So uh, basically from what I gather, this guy. I checked all my fuses. Everything was okay. Um, this is pretty much the only other thing. I mean, I guess the button could go bad, but I thought it was kind of odd that nothing happened. This didn't click. Light didn't flash. Nothing happened. Chances are, from what I can tell, it's this. So, we're going to go over how to fix it. Now, I don't have my tripod. I don't have my microphone. I don't have anything. I'm just winging this video, so hopefully it's not too bad. We're going to go ahead and get this glove box pop loose. The uh, module or computer, whatever you want to call it, is in behind the glove box. So let me pop this glove box down uh, and then we'll get to the next part. Real quick, if you have not taken your glove box down before, there's a little rubber stopper here and one right here. Be very careful with it, but what you're going to do is you're going to pull this in until it clears this plastic piece. It's kind of cold out, it's like 37, truck's 28 years old, glove box still works properly. I want to keep it that way, so I'm gonna be really careful with it. I'm gonna put the camera down so I don't break my glove box. This in, the box drops, I didn't break it. You're gonna to want to empty your box out because everything's gonna dump out, okay? Uh, the Explorers are a little different. It's like right here on an Explorer. On this truck, it is back in, Back down in here, and you can actually see it. Uh, maybe. Yeah, there it is right there. Um, get my finger where you can see me. Uh, uh, yeah, right there. So I'm taking this plastic panel out, and hopefully we can get into it and get it out. All right, so once you pull this screw out, it pops out. Just be careful with it. You don't want to break it. Actually, if you can see right there, my glove, my uh, dashboard is broken right here. 
I always wondered, so I've had this truck about 10 years and it's always made like a pop sound every now and then. <clears throat> Excuse me, when you go around a turn or something, it'll make a small popping noise. I'd say it has something to do with that being broken. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know how you, that's all part of the, the dash here. I don't even know how you fix that, if you can replace just that part. I have no idea. Oh well, learn something new every day. I don't know why, they may, everything's made out of plastic, you know. And they look decent, a decent looking dash, but it's plastic, so the thing gets old enough, everything starts crumbling, literally. So, it is what it is. So let's get this computer out of here. Um, if you can see, it is right there. Now, there is, which I didn't know this, you can see right here, there's this little red light. Uh, there is a way to test this computer. And that light will flash a certain way if it's functioning properly. If it's not functioning properly, the light will not flash. Something along those lines. Um, yeah, I didn't know that. And I ordered the part, assuming that's what it was wrong with it. I'm still pretty sure it's what it is. But before you go and buy this part... Uh, checking your owner's manual or whatever uh, to find out exactly how to test this system. But you can test this computer to see if it's actually bad. All right, so I took this loose so you can see, which I still don't know if you can see it. Um, right in here, which I don't know if you, I, it's not focusing, you can't see it. There's a little uh, metal clip there. So when you take, sorry about the shaky camera, it's hard to do all this with one hand. You take the bottom bolt out, you can easily get to it. Okay, the top has actually got a metal clip that sticks in that hole, it's not a bolt. So you won't be able to see it unless you remove this. It's just got two screws remove screws slide it over so you can see what's going on but i'm telling you that's what it is that way you don't have to do it so you take your bottom nut off pop this thing off of the stud that's still there and then you lift up on it you may have to jiggle a little bit and it'll pop off that clip you can see the clip with your own eyes uh the camera it's not picking it up but it is in there there's a black clip at the top or uh well, it's supposed to be black. It's probably rusted in your truck. But anyhow, that's how mine is. It's brown. Um, but that's all you do. And then you just disconnect. Be careful not to break these little tabs. They are so easy to break. Two screwdrivers. One to lift up on this tab. The other one you can work gently. Pry these things loose and try not to break them. Uh, the used one I bought actually came with the clips. They just cut the wires off. So, worst case scenario, if one breaks, I can hardwire it in and use it, but I'd prefer to just use the factory stuff. Okay, you're going to get really mad. You're going to yell and scream, probably trying to get your plug loose. I uh, also grabbed a pick to try to pry in. I love Ford, but they're, they're not too good when it comes to these freaking plugs. This is the stupidest design ever. You have to have seven hands to get the thing loose. So, yes. It broke right here and right there with that clip because you have to pry both clips loose at the same time plus pull on this and it is in there. So finally I got it loose. I didn't break it clean off, which was good. Um, I knew it was gonna happen because it always happens, it, especially with the older ones. It is all you can do to, somehow, well, I know how I didn't break this one. It only had one. Uh, but yeah, they're just a pain. So you are going to get irritated. That's normal. It is okay. Uh, yeah. So just a heads up on that. Okay. So I just did a quick, once you get all your un things unplugged, obviously you just plug them back into your new computer. They only go in one way. So that's pretty uh, quick and easy. I'm actually going to test my system real quick before I put everything back in there to make sure everything's working right. Okay. So truck's on. Now we are going to, which I don't have a lot of room here, um, put in drive, hit 
the 4x4. Okay. Why is my light not coming on? Four wheel drive clicked. All right, there we go. As you can see, four by four light lit up. Four by four is now on the dash. Before, it would not do that. And I don't know if you can hear with the truck running, it was doing that clicking sound when it engaged. Uh, if that's not working right, it will not make a sound it will not light up and it won't say 4x4. What's nice about having two different lights is if you do have a dash light out, you know, you got two different lights. Chances are both your bulbs are not out, but it has to make that clicking sound if you could hear that. That is it telling the transfer case what to do. If it does not do that, chances are it's your uh, four wheel drive transfer case computer module, whatever they call it. So now it's off. And if you could hear that, it clicked twice. It went click, 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 click. Four wheel drive's now off. Now, uh, yeah, so now all you do is just basically reverse what you did to take it apart and put it all back together. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. Um, I don't know how many of you guys on, that are subscribed to my channel have these old style trucks, but uh, hopefully this helps you out. And um, once I get my crap together i'm hoping to get some more videos out uh, i know it's been lacking seriously lacking for a while so i'm gonna upload this one and uh let me know what you guys want to see uh video wise i know i've been doing a lot of boat stuff i still have that white boat still plan on finishing it uh i just haven't had it's not here at the house I, it, it's, it's been crazy a whole year and i really don't haven't had access to the boat so um let me know what you want to see see if I can do something. Uh, if you guys want to start seeing some gun videos or anything like that, let me know. Uh, I've been kicking around starting to do some of those. Um, the way YouTube's been with stuff, I don't know <laughs> if that's a good idea or not, but uh, if you want to see some gun stuff, uh, especially in the winter months, since you can't really do much fishing, um, I can, but I don't really do ice fishing, so just let me know what you want to see. And uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe and uh, click like if this helped you out. Appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.